You know, there's a ton of reviews online already, so I'm not gonna go into depth about, you know, a ton of things like other folks you'll, you'll find in other reviews, but here's a quick few minutes of what I thought on the drone itself. First of all, I purchased it for training and teaching people. Uh, I think the drone program at my work is eventually gonna pick up and it's just something that I figured would be kind of fun and honestly achieved exactly that. I had a couple people come up this week and just try it out and you know, obviously it kind of, you know, it had their eyes glowing, they were freaking out and, and you know, we were able to fly it in here in this apartment and stuff like that. So for the purposes of like, you know, kind of introducing people to drones and things like that, it was great and uh, yeah, super fun. And in particular as well, the controls of the Tello, um, yeah, they're a bit laggy, as you'll see from a bunch of other reviews and things like that, but not overly laggy, I found. And if you're going to have folks fly things like Mavics or Phantoms and things like that, uh, the controls are pretty damn similar. So, so you know, kind of giving people a little confidence behind the controls of something that, you know, they can't really break necessarily, uh, and also giving them, you know, uh, a pretty challenging setting of flying indoors, uh, hopefully gives folks the confidence and, and, you know, really brings them up to speed when it comes down to using these things. So I thought that was really cool and it, it definitely achieved that uh, for my purposes with this particular drone. Um, furthermore, some of the tool, some of the tricks that this thing can do are super fun, like flips and things like that. One major challenge I found was honestly, it was too damn soon before you couldn't do them anymore. As in, you know, the time that you were allowed to fly, it says something like 13 minutes. I found that, you know, if you're really pushing it, it's more, you know, it's a little shorter than that. And then to be able to do tricks like the hand takeoff and the flips and things like that, you need at least 50% power or more. I was finding, you know, within like five minutes, I wasn't able to do a lot of those tricks. And then it would take you a full 90 minutes, of, you know, 90 minutes of charging roughly to get your battery back up to power and things like that. So, you know, in terms of it being an efficient for use and things like that, I was finding it not the case. And so that was a bit of a piss off, but Again, my overarching primary goal of being able to teach people and introduce folks into drones and stuff like that uh, was achieved with this particular unit. So I was happy because of that. So, you know, again, just a quick few thoughts on it. It's uh, honestly, for what it's worth, $100 to, for, and for again, for my purposes, it was great. Um, you know, uh, I wouldn't necessarily go off flying it for anything cinematic. It's 720, the footage is kind of choppy and stuff like that. So it's literally just for fun uh, on my end. And, and as long as you keep it for those particular purposes, I think it's a great drone. Uh, and yeah, just, you know, hopefully I'll maybe do something else fun with it. Who knows? Uh, anyways, thanks for checking this out and uh, all the best. Happy flying.